What it do, YouTube? It's your boy DJ Hove, and I'm back with another review. And this, this is the DDJ Flex Four, not Four, Four. Yeah, the DDJ Flex Four. Um, great entry level controller uh, for my D for my people out there who wanna who's trying to get into DJing. Um, also good for experienced DJs as well who don't want to bring out their you know their their current DJ controller that they use, their main controller. This is good for like a like a backup controller, or if you got a turntable, it's good for like a backup. You know, um, got it for three hundred bucks at Guitar Center. I think it's the same price price as the DDJ Rev One, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe five or ten bucks off. Um, yeah, it got it has some cool cool features features to it, and we're gonna we're gonna jump right into it. Oh yeah, and I told y'all I was gonna be more consistent going forward with these DJ reviews on you know DJs DJ gears and things of that nature. So yeah, oh yeah, I'm a I'm a I'm a Duke fan by the way, as you can see it. Christmas is around right around the corner, so y'all should pick up this bad boy, man. Yeah, it's a great great way to start if you want to get into DJing. We're gonna jump right into it. All right, let's open her up. That's what she said. Like y'all know how, how how I love open up brand new boxes, man. Got that brand new, that brand new smell. Yeah. Looks like it only comes with a uh, USB C, USB C to USB C cable. You know what's cool about this thing? They say um, you can use this with an iPad or you can use an iPhone. You can use Rekordbox. They got the Rekordbox app. But y'all know I don't mess with Rekordbox because I'm I'm Serato all day. You know what I mean? I just I'm a turntablist, so I use Serato. I know my CDJ guys. They they usually like Rekordbox. Um, they usually like using Rekordbox. So yeah, you know I ride with Serato all day, baby. All right, this is what it comes with. It comes with comes the man comes with the manual. It comes with just the USB C, the USB C cable. Don't need the manual. So I'm guessing it's just a plug and play. It got to be just a plug and play. Let me show y'all the. Yeah, because I don't see a, a power cable that you plug into it. So yeah, here's, here's what the back look like. Got two USB C ports. I guess you can, you know, you can plug the, I want to say iPad to it, or you can just plug it straight into your laptop. Uh, me personally, I don't, I wouldn't just use a, uh, you can use an iPad with it and it'll work, but, you know, if, for, for the real DJs, man, we always use a laptop. Preferably, I like using a MacBook. You know what I'm saying? No, no, no. You know what I'm saying? No shame to the guys that use Windows, but you just can't go wrong with a MacBook. I never never had issues with a MacBook ever with any of the gigs that I've done. I've done, I've done plenty of gigs. I've been DJing since by 07, 08. I always used the MacBook. Never failed on. But no shame to you guys that use, you know, Windows laptops. But yeah. So I'm going to plug my um, USB-C cable. I'm plug it right here. To where it says the uh, where it got the the plug into it, the plug symbol. Plug that into my laptop, and you you can use Serato DJ Lite, you can use Rekordbox, or you can use Serato DJ Serato Pro. There's no power button; it just automatically turns on. First thing off the bat, it's super small. The platters are, I got small hands, and, my, and the platters are super small. Um, unlike my DDJ Rev 5, it's, the platters are a lot bigger. Hey, yo! Or if you use CDJs, the CDJ platter is a lot bigger. Hey, yo! Um, 
Okay, right off the right off the back, I'm gonna tell you what I don't like about this controller. It doesn't come with an XLR input. You know, it's for my guys who uh, who use a wired microphone that you plug in the back of the controller. It doesn't have an XLR input that you that you can plug into. It does have a quarter inch cable that you can use. Um, so yeah, I, you know, I, I like XLR. XL, they do have XLR on the DDJ Rail 5, but uh, I guess that's what you get for the price point. Because, you know, the DDJ Rail 5 costs about $1,100. Um, and this one's about $300. So you're kind of limited on the options that you have when it comes to stuff like that. The inputs and things things like that. You know what else I don't like about it? Um, I hate that they put the pitch. They put the tempo faders. On on the right side like this, you know I, I like mine's on on top. Hey yo, like the pitch faders on top. I'm more used to that style. I mean it's all right, but um yeah. Another thing that I that I don't really like as much is the fader. Fader kind of stiff. You know what I mean? Um, but I know for three hundred bucks you're not gonna get the Mag Fader Pro or the. Or at least a mag fader, you just, just gonna get like a stiff fader. But yeah. And it's you really only you got like limited options here. But you got some cool options too. I'm gonna show y'all uh in a demo later on about the cool option that it has. The cool options that it has. You got your little pads here too. Kind of stiff too a little bit. But yeah, we'll, we'll, let's get it. We'll, we're gonna dive into it. All right, what's good, YouTube? Um, all right, now this is your this is your deck. This is for my my entry level DJs. This is your deck section. Uh, got your crossfader right here. Um, got your play and got your cue cue button. Um, this is how you play a track. See, I got my track on the left. That's the cue for that. I mean, that's I got that play. You can um mess with the tempo. You can slow it down. Or you can speed it up. Um, what else do you have? You got a. Say if you want to. Say if you want to scroll. I mean, speed up a track. You can do it that way. If you want to slow it down, you can do it this way. Or if you want to stroll through a track, you can do it this way. Um, what else? Still trying to learn this thing. Well, no, I know. I just opened it up. Um, you can already oh, got beat sync. So if you got this track, see the one on the left. I got a song playing, and it's seventy five beats per minute. And on the right, I got a one for a hundred. Let's see if we can. You can use the uh, beat sync to sync those up. So I think you'll press shift. Beat sync. Turn it on on both sides. Let's see, let's we'll see what it do. And that'll help you get to the next track. But yeah, that's how you uh you can you can beat sync. You can use that or you can learn how to do it just just by using your ears. But all my first time DJs, you know, probably want to start off using the beat sync just to learn how to how to use it or whatever. That was just something a little quick. You know, you got your you got your CFX. You you can use that to you know. I say this here, this smart CFX button right here. You can use that to like echo in and out of a track. Cause you know, um, on the DDJ Rev Five, they actually got, or even even any other mixer, they actually got like echo, reverb. You got um, I think flanger, and um, I forget what the other one is, but you, you got more options with that. But this one, you can, I guess, you can use it to, you know, let's 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 give it a shot. You can use it to um get to a next track. By using the CFX fader, watch this. Oh, that right there. 
Showed y'all the loops already. Um, I think that's pretty much it. You can that's pretty much it. And the rest, I probably just play around with it, man. Yes, and yes, you can scratch on it as well. I might see if I might try to do it like a little scratch with real quick. Let's see if I can scratch. I just want to go with some more effects you know what i'm saying that the ddj flex 4 has to offer um especially for my new djs you got the hot cue you got the pad effects you got beat jump you got sampler um hot cues is you know just hot cues i'm gonna show you what hot cue is just picking a song just a random spot over here say if you where you want the song to start at i already got like a couple here already See this one right here. Two to the one, and it one, 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 and it one, 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 three, and it comes to check it out, y'all. One, three, and it check. Just some spots where you want to put a cue point or where the song is throughout the song. That's that's how you use hot cues, pad effects. Um, get out, I never used that before. I guess you can use that. Uh, okay, no. I guess you can use that. That that's a better way using with record box. You got beat jump. Watch this, everybody. One. This you can, you can, okay. well, you can beat jump One. throughout the track. That's pretty cool. I never used that before. Then you got your samples. You know, I already got my samples in here. Cuff your chick. You're listening to DJ Hove. <laughs> DJ Hove, play that shit. And if you if you don't know how to use samples, um, I got a video up uh, on how to create a sample. You know what I'm saying? So just, you can go back and watch that on how to create a sample, but I got I got plenty of them. Um, what else do we got here, baby? I already told y'all about the tempo, the play pause, the cue button. Um, 
What else we got? You got the smart fader. I think I showed y'all how to do that already. Um, we can get in it. And you got uh, you got the beat sync. I think I showed y'all that too. Uh, I just want to see if I can scratch on this thing, man. Let's let's see if I can I can do some scratching. Let's let's put up a beat. Then I'm gonna do some, put up a sample and see if I can scratch on this little jog wheels. Yeah, y'all give me a minute. Cuff your chick. One, and then comes the two to the three. One, and 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 then comes the two. y'all that pretty much wraps it up for the ddj flex Four review i appreciate y'all for you know watching my, my videos commenting liking and subscribing um and asking questions in in the comment section i really appreciate that um yeah um the dislikes that i like the dislikes about this uh dj controller got the small jog wheel i don't like the small jog wheels because i you know i like to scratch you know things like that um also, the layout of the the mixer is kind of limited. You know, you know, I'm used to that uh, the mid range and pro style layout where you got a lot a lot more options. Um, and the beat the little beat pads are kind of small as well. But it's it's a good it's a good um, like I said it's a good beginner DJ controller. You can't you can't go wrong with it for if if you're just getting into it. Also, like I said before, it's a, it's a good backup. You can use it as a backup controller as well. Um, yeah, man. Not too many bad things. I mean, not too many bad things I can say about it. Oh, yeah, and another dislike. Um, the XLR input. I wish they had put an XLR input in the back instead of, you know, the quarter-inch mic cable. But yeah, that's that's really nothing too major. Oh, yeah, I had a, I had a question, too, about how do I stream? Because... You know, you know, you know, I got to do my stream. I got I got to stream on kick using this. I just want to play around with it. You know what I mean? Uh, people ask me, what did I use to stream? I told y'all to get this iRig 2 cable. iRig 2 cable right here. You got your headphone jack at the end of it. And you also need to get this live cable, this live, live wire cable, you know, which are red and with your red and black, red and white cable at the end. I forget the name of it. But you uh, plug it in right here. Put the, match the red with the red. Then the other other part, you just, you know, just plug that in. You can, um, you, need to, you need to download the OBS software if you want to stream on like YouTube, Kick, Twitch, or Facebook. Facebook be tripping with the copyright, so you probably had a DJ like non copyright copyrighted music on Facebook and YouTube, cause they'll they'll kick you off real quick if you play any type of uh, copyrighted music. So, but if you want to stream freely without no words, you can do that on Twitch and you can do that on Kick as well. But you'll plug this into the uh, the headphone jack of your your computer. You can do it that way or 
if you don't if you don't want to use the OBS software to do it that way, you can just do it through your iPhone, like or your Android. You just need to get the adapter, plug it this right here, and plug this into your phone, and you can stream that way. I had a question about that. Uh, people was asking how can how can you stream? So you, it's two ways you can do it. The two ways that I know, I, it may be another way, but yeah, yeah, man, y'all. Um, Y'all keep keep watching and sharing and let me know what y'all want to see next. We'll we'll get this. I think next, I think I'm gonna do more of a I'm gonna do a pro style. You know, I'm thinking about the DDJ Rev Seven, or I'm gonna do the Rain One next. Which I want to see. And then after I do the DDJ or the Rain One, gotta go to turntable style PLX One Thousand. I want to see that new PLX with the with the adapter on it. I want I want to see how that. How that works or whatever. I think that's gonna be my next my next video. But y'all tell me what y'all want to see, man. You make your food that doesn't uh, help. What, what equipment that y'all that y'all need? Killing us, but it makes whatever. money. Just let me know. You know what I mean? That television yeah, show is hurting us, your boy. But it makes money. This music is killing us. It's Shit. rotting us, but it makes money. That's the system we live in. That goes for any any industry. You can look at it and go, that's not helping the world. But it's making money. Let's go. Visions of being relevant, living in lies is so evident. Buying a pair of sneakers to keep your relevance, chasing a higher level, dreaming of elegance. Sorry, baby, they lied to you. They glisten, glamour, and come with a prize. Soon as you pick up people, they stick a knife in your side. It's way deeper. Mentally enslaved genius. Poverty communities, groundskeeper. Act as a peace officer. Bad don't conceal neither. I was taught to sleep with one eye open. Stick to the roots, remain focused. Every home is not your homie. I'm murdered the boot like John Wilkes on his last L. No time for thinking. Double back on the next track. Drop a line for Lincoln. Always pay attention to your surroundings or face the consequences. Consequences. Yeah. I just stretch my hands I can't sleep at night I can't even fight it No, I don't want to move on Cause I gotta be the one To let it blow like I just stretch my hands I can't sleep at night, I can't even fight it No, I don't wanna move on Cause I gotta be the one to let it blow like